Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Oxyacetylene Welding, Cutting, and Brazing. Topic number 15, Job Practice. Square groove, bevel, and hole cut. Flat position, manual. The objective of this practice is to be able to produce quality square groove, bevel, and circular flame cut edges. The finished cuts should all be smooth, even, and consistent with no melted edges, gouges, or slag. Material, 3 16th inch thick mild steel plate. Equipment, oxygen and acetylene supply and cutting equipment. Protective clothing, gloves, and goggles. Striker and pliers. Cutting tip orifice, size number 60. Tip cleaner, number 60. Gas pressure settings. Oxygen, 25 PSI. Acetylene, 5 PSI. If methyl acetylene propadine, or MAP gas, is used, the pressures are the same. However, a different type of tip is necessary. Flame, adjusted to neutral. The workpiece for this job practice is a 3 16th inch thick mild steel plate. The torch will be controlled manually to make straight cuts with perpendicular and beveled edges as well as circular cuts. Before starting any cut, however, make sure that flying slag and molten metal will not cause damage or fire in the immediate area. Check the cutting tip carefully to make sure that the tip orifices are clean. And then set the oxygen and fuel gas pressures in a manner similar to the welding practices. Before positioning the workpiece, mark the lines that the cuts will follow along the longer edge of the plate and about one quarter inch in from the edge. And then draw a circle one inch wide in the center of the plate for the hole cut. Now place the plate in the flat position over a scrap container that will catch the sparks, slag, and cut edges. Light the torch and adjust the preheat flames to a neutral setting. Then press the cutting gas lever and make sure that the preheat flames are still neutral. Readjust them if necessary. Position yourself for the square groove cut so that you can hold the torch steady for the full length of the cut. The work angle is 90 degrees perpendicular. The travel angle is 5 to 10 degrees push. Before starting the cut, make a few passes along the length of the cutting line to preheat the metal. Then position the torch at the edge where the cut is to start. Hold the tip of the inner cone 1 16th to 1 8th inch from the surface. When the spot beneath the flame turns cherry red, open the cutting oxygen valve. As the flame melts to the lower edge of the plate, move along the cut line at an even rate. Experiment until you find a travel speed that produces an even, smooth cut with sharp edges. If you move too slowly or preheat the piece too much, the cut will be uneven and widened and the edge will melt back. Excessive slag will be present at the underside of the plate. If you move too fast, you will not allow enough preheat time and you will lose the cut. The bevel cut is used for producing V-groove joints. Position yourself over the other edge of the workpiece. Use a 60 degree work angle which will produce a 30 degree bevel and a 10 degree push travel angle. The procedure is the same as for the square groove cut 
except that your travel speed will be slower because the face of the cut is wider. The finished bevel cut should be smooth and have a consistent 30 degree angle. Now, position yourself for the circular cut using a 90 degree work angle and a 5 to 10 degree push travel angle, similar to the square groove cut. Aim the torch on the inside of the cut line. Preheat the area as before and then start the cut, carefully following the line. This cut, as with all cut surfaces, should be smooth, uniform, and consistent throughout its length.